going to challenge our next um, gym leader Cal Flannery I pretty much um, did the groundwork that will await us I think I just went the wrong way you can't even run in these in this gym is kind of annoying since the gym layouts here are far far bigger than the ones in the previous games. <coughs> so let's go. Um, I think it was this one. So we are going to challenge Flannery finally. Uh, yesterday I real noticed that I forgot a normal type we talked about, and that was Cacleon. As a reason, Cacleon is so forgettable that it's awful competitively. It's useless in the battlefront here, and in game it hits. It may hit hard, but if your opponent hits you, your typing changes, so you may lose your stab moves. Um, uh, unless you want to use a master cut slave or something, it don't bother with Cacleon. It can hit special. It can take special hits and has a uh, decent attack stat, but seriously. It's not really worth it. <coughs> right now we just destroy Flannery. Not waste time. Also get some nice experience. So let's continue. So just a decent uh, chunk, I think. But I would. She will probably heal her Pokemon. I like how she uses a uh, Sunny Day now, which she didn't back in the other games I remember. A patch she did, and this way she can power up her overheat. And we just retaliate with another double kick. And who is next? First Lazy Town gets um, a, some nice experience. A Turco, Turco, um, if you know from Ruby and Sapphire, is kinda annoying to deal with simply because Turco has uh, attract. I hope we can um, avoid getting um, turned on by this hot turtle. But the sun is now our ally. Uh, with that, even Blaze Kick can team hit KO it. <coughs> so with this, you this is how you defeat Flannery nicely. Just over level your stud <laughs> or use a water type. Another reason water is the best. Flannery is pretty strong. Don't let the enemy misguide you. Flannery in the enemy is complete trash. Meanwhile, in the games, she is hits like a truck. By the way, should we teach and um, play the game overheat? Probably not, because uh, we might need to hit a few more fire types like we did in this fight. So we get the go go goggles. It's just the go goggles. We can explore the desert if we want, but really there's nothing right now that's worth of interest. I collected the items that were here, but one thing I didn't collect is nothing the item that you can find here 
and I don't remember what exactly it was and we are going to find out. <coughs> Let's run away here. Ah, there it is. And we use strength here. And push this boulder. Actually we do oh we do need to push it until it's there. We can push it like this. Did we just um knock us out of escaping from this place? Who knows? Right now I'm have only seen only one thing in my mind and it's trying to get to that item. And what is it? It's the M toxic. And we push this boulder down. Then we push it this way. But now we need to be careful. Push this boulder and go like this. White Machoke. Kill okay, Machoke gets us one attack IV point. But I'm not really interested in more attack. There it is. Firestorm. So let's um, think about it. You get Firestorm this early. So the moment you uh, find uh, Nine Tails, you already have Flamethrower to use. So what do you what can, what would you do? Would you evolve your nine tails, uh, your bullpix immediately to a nine tails? And I think the answer is pretty simple. Yes. Yeah, I I personally would do that. So let's get. Get out of here. <coughs> Maybe I should have picked uh, the other direction. A slugma gives you one special attack IV. And the reason I know that is because I trained a bunch of. Pokemon in this generation, so <coughs> let's just destroy this rock here and hope no Geodude will appear. Ah, crab baskets. There it is, it's Geodude. So, if you want to use a Geodude, one of the ways to get a Geodude is this way. Obviously, there are more. And now I'm just thinking where to go next. We have beaten Flannery. We could technically immediately fight off. <coughs> we could technically immediately fight off. I lost the train of stars again. Ah, yeah, no, no. Uh, by the way, let's check out if we can beat the crap of somebody right now. It doesn't seem to be the case. Who is that? Okay. Let's Namo. I find it interesting that if you break these um, rocks, you actually successfully and destroy them permanently. So another Vismo awaits us. Let's escape from the Try to get through this place with a shortcut. 
What is written in this design anyways? Let's find out. Okay, that's um, useless information for us. I wonder how many encounters he kinda avoided. Really doesn't matter, he might just um, speeding up right now. Oh, I can uh, set, give the meteor right. Oh no, I entered the Pokemon Center. Eh, uh, the Pokemon, not the Pokemon Center. Let's talk to this guy. Yeah, thank you. And do these guys help me if I... What do I do with that meteorite? Yeah, thank you. Maybe I should have gone after... Okay, I guess. Where do I bring that Metro, right? <coughs> Is it this guy? <laughs> I think we talked about him. The down below is just... Just about reviving, so the meteorite is pretty much useless in our hands. <coughs> well, if I find out, I will bring that meteorite uh, to the people that need it. We have it, that's the most important part. Let's go. Honestly, do you guys want to see me kick the ass of a bunch of normal types? And there's nothing to gain, honestly. But I guess um, we can watch a bit, a bit of it. How I grind all these Pokemon to a new world, a new level. So we are finally in the gym. Is there anything wet? No, it's just a flower. <coughs> so let's kick her ass. Accuracy room. So let's see what she has to offer. And she got she uses a damn cutie, so she's she's no challenge, we just destroy her. As these Pokemon are surprisingly strong in this gym, I am not complaining. I think that's pretty interesting. So let's beat her. I don't, does she have a Dale Kitty too? Only one way to find out. I will just spend double kick S on each trainer. She has a really uh, tough, and we already established this, that the Smoothstone Evolution normal types are garbage. Except um, Clefairy, a Clefable, which isn't in this game. He has a Vigorov. 
I don't remember these trainers having regrowth. I think that's an emerald thing. So we just double kick his ass. Oh, that will go where did it go? After evolving into Snake. Oh yeah, we are already done. Can I beat up a few more trainers? Probably. The recovery one. Uh, so what's the deal here? Does he have a Pokemon that knows recover? Oh, it's a... Uh, he uses a slack mode. Seriously, that's pretty random. That Pokemon can't is a free kill pretty much. Not because I use a Pokemon that is over level, but even if I didn't. You know how it would end. <coughs> so let's go downwards. So we are back at the entrance and now we go the opposite way. Getting some ex offset nice experience. I hope you don't mind that. Slip Swallow is a good choice for this gym because it's not weak to all stab moves and it has sort of effective coverage but that's how far it goes. We are an over leveled fire starter so Lazy Town is now level 70. Maybe my next one personal run I probably won't play any more Gen 3 on here. I consider using um, and testing nine tails. I went to the wrong room because we were already here. Just thinking about it, I, I still don't stand on my point that uh, night tails is not really worth it. But uh, being able to evolve it immediately gives you a small advantage because night tails has one special attack point more than Torkoal and it's insane fast. But what do you do with one more special attack point? It's fine, but just like Torko, it doesn't learn any other special moves but fire type moves. It's just that you can try some. Um, it doesn't have the attacks that to do much uh, physical damage. What does she have actually? Zangus. Yeah, something you can find and um, catch. I just realized that Zangus has purple claws. Does it really have purple claws in the game? Eh, in the artworks? Or is it a uh, Generation 3 thing? Because I never noticed it until now. I noticed that it's these claws, but not the coloring. Know you know. Well, we can now finally beat the crap out of our dad. That kind of sounds wrong. And because of that, we need a water type. We didn't find any water type or anything that can learn surf. And I guess we have to make up for it now. Let's double kick its, its ass. Spender is completely useless. It's pretty almost a free kill for you. So go for it. Who is next? Vigoroth. Vigoroth, we already defeated one with ease. Let's go for it again. Am I think. 
our dad also has linen exactly maybe the catch and linen linen is really useful but then we would have two normal types right I guess we have to catch a water type but which water type didn't we catch so far and let me um, move those mu um, brain muscles oh boy he has count <coughs> that's impressive let's go for and he has a berry to heal himself hmm. but we are uh, pretty much covered it with So can we? Let's wing attack here. Goes for young. I think that's and now we can go for free switch into our blaze and finish it off with a double kick. One. If this um, Norman has been defeated, that was quite easy. You can say, well, you overleveled, you used items, but seriously, that's how you play the damn game. It's not much of a challenge. The challenge in Pokemon comes in how you solve the puzzles, and sadly, that isn't much of a challenge either when you have the uh, internet on your belt. all comes down to how much time you want to invest to solve a problem and obviously patience other than that that's where the challenge of old Pokemon games come new Pokemon games don't even have that they hold your hands even then now you get the balance badge <coughs> this is a game where you can save your file where you I don't know how you can balance a game like that in terms of challenges and preventing soft locks. Oh boy. Okay let's go with him. I think that's another thing added specially in this game. that normally you would have to visit him on foot but this time he came to you what a kind guy you can tell me that this is another um, oh boy who is that Anna ok it shows that he really appreciates you know which is great um, we need a uh, water type now and without swimming I don't know how we can get another one I really don't oh yeah wait wait guys we are I'm going to catch that infamous Pokemon it has been a war we now have the requirement we need yeah, table. <laughs> we finally have a big roof, but yeah, we are going to catch that specific Pokemon I am thinking of. It's not a one pool, don't think I would want this useless thing in my team. a much better Pokemon. It's not a um, 
what is it called? Puchien. It has poo in its name, so you know it's it sucks. Also, they don't like dogs. And then let's talk about dog types. But we added. Uh, we talked about Sharpedo, which is good. We talked about Shiftry, which is bad for in-game runs. Sharpedo is mid-tier in competitive and not recommended for the battlefront here. Uh, we have talked about Cacnea and Cacturn, which is not really recommended in the battlefront here. It's broken in the uh, in competitive in sun, even Cacnea. And in game, I think it can put works because it has amazing o double offenses that similar to Shift Tree, but it's just higher. Now we get to Pichiena, which has no physical stab because dark type moves are special. So you rely on Shadow Ball and Deek and normal type moves. But it has Intimidate, so you can make it work. There it is, low tad. And another dark type is Absol, which suffers from the same problems you, but yeah, you rely on Iron Tail, Shadow Ball, and uh, normal type moves. But it can learn slow stance, so it's automatically better. But it's about 70 special attack. It doesn't learn any good dark type moves, but oh no, it's careful nature. No, it will do its job. So, and I forgot to give it a name. And also, we take away the. Item and give all that experience to low uh, low tent. By the way, I just real no no not. I think that's fine. <coughs> so regarding low tent. Oh yeah, I was talking about Absol, and sadly no stack moves that really matter in this generation. But um, if you think about it, it can learn Fire Blast, uh, Water Bolt, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, I think even. So it can be a decent uh, Calm Mind Sweeper in competitive but in game I wouldn't recommend it for the battlefront here but you can use it um, to get through the game and teach it fire blast and powerful normal type moves and it, I think it will do a decent job there's a skiddy which is useless are there any Duck types in this game are really bad because none of them are special attackers, uh, are more physical orientated. Well, Dark type is special, but Sharpie Duel, Shift Tree, and uh, Cacnea can make use of it technically, so it's not all bad. And um, we talked about should we pick Thunderbolt no. But wait a second. Wait a second. I have an idea. Yeah, we are getting the basement key. I think I did it once. But there's another reason why I want to go there. And 
yeah. But before I go there, I should. <laughs> Never mind. I. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> it would be just simpler if I continue uh, trying to reach the gym, but. I like me some shortcuts. There's a tentacle. Level 8. Should I catch myself a tentacle? I won't. There's a winkle. Let's run away. But I can't I may consider using one. Here we can't even run. The door is locked but now we have opened it. So first we need to get rid of that. There's a world we'll talk. And let's run away. Who is that Pokemon? It's a Magnemite. And can we weaken it? He goes for Sunday Shock. That's a decent chunk, let's go for a one. And I think you probably realize where I am. Going with this, we are going to use a magnemite in this one. I think I never used a magnemite, and will be added. <coughs> Let's talk about electric type in this game, and we will find out how good magnemite really is. And competitive, it's amazing. And the battlefront here, it's 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 decent. I think I will call it name. Yes. In game, it shouldn't be. It it has a great resistance. A good resistance is only weak to fire and ground and pretty much resists a lot of major types and let's look at the nature before it's hasty this is great it has study but this is not bad because study we don't want study for an in-game one because we don't want to accidentally trap uh, st uh, steel types and un be unable uh, to get past them <coughs> so another magnemite. A magnemite gives you one special attack IV. I think you know where this is going. I'm going to share these with Magnus. I don't want to click it this one. We find an escape rope that may come in handy. Uh, we better look out, but we click because there's a wild world walk. Level 25 is not the big of a deal. Let's get out of here. There's another Magnus. A little bit stronger, but it's not a big deal. <coughs> we, in this game, getting level ups is not as tedious as in previous games. It's much 
easier because the level curve uh, I think the catch rate a lot of things have been fixed from generation one and two. It feels much easier to catch Pokemon in this game than in previous generations. Not simply that the bots are actually working. Now so you are um it's much easier to waste them. Wait a second, let's do it this way. So now I need to be careful. This is the uh, world top, I think. Let's get away from this because Voltop may have static. Yeah. Sadly, many electric types in this game only can learn electric type moves per level up. So, something like a uh, Magnemite may be not too useful except of carry uh, um, flying type moves, Pokemon. When you don't have access to hidden power. Um, the hidden power you want, unless you really want to grind for it, but then it's not even worth using. Just use a Chinchou, which has both been covered immediately. Electric type, we talked about it's great. Um, yeah, but Magnemite can get you through the game. 200, uh, 125 special attack is nothing to sneeze at. So, I recommend using a Magnemite from my memory, but it may experience the opposite. And Magnemite really needs that Thunderbolt we are hoping to get. What is this? Thunderstorm? Yeah. And this may be useful for those who want to catch a Pikachu later on. Yeah. Just from resistances, it's worth using Magnemite. It's the best electric type, I think, next to Jinchao. Then you have Voltorb. Voltorb is awful in game. It's really fast, but it won't get you far. It it just doesn't hit as hard as many other electric types in this game. I think even I think even plus. Lustle hits harder, but for that you have insane speed, explosion, which makes up for the lack of, which makes up for the lack of, <coughs> and good attack stats. But yeah, you kill yourself so take it as you will again. Where is it? Ah, oh, there is the escape room. What nature did... Oh yeah, it was hasty. So let's see what Pokemon is there. Another tentacool. Let's get away from here. But I, I, I almost forgot. We want to nickname our Lord Ted. Um, but what to call him? <coughs> A waste. Plus, is as I mentioned, I think a pretty good Pokemon. It, it's surprisingly strong and fast. 
I teach it Thunderbolt or and it will do fine. And competitively you probably don't want to use it over Magnemite or Battle Pokemon. It's bottom tier be simply because its coverage isn't there and many Pokemon have is there are far better Pokemon like Light or Pikachu is even better. I can't call it Mexican. I would be considered racist. Dance bro. I will call him Dance Bro and hope it <coughs> No I don't want to talk to you anymore. So we call it Dance Bro and now we get back and continue our adventure. So let's see. And my on the other hand is pretty bad. And I guess you can make it work in game, but you are losing a great chunk of power if you use it. And that's not recommended. get the TM for Thunderbolt you know one of my favorite words Atomic Thunderbolt and who better is it to teach than Magnus <coughs> this early and we will get rid of do we want Sonic Boom yeah let's get rid of Thunderbolt a Thunder Shoku hmm. well I will take care of these trainers later on for now we just focus on Steven who just disappears because he's that kind of guy. So we talked about um, what electric types can we talk about? Like obviously, um, Minen is just a little fever. My plus one, so it's bad in every way. Uh, oh, you can use it as a wish processor competitively, but <coughs> it's not a good defensive Pokemon. Well, Electric has just one weakness, it also has not a lot of resistances. And it's most pull sucks. Then you have Pikachu, which you can only catch in the Safari Zone. Mm. If you catch one with Light Bolt, you can hit hard as a motherfucker. But the real appeal of Pikachu is we got the Thunderstone. You, once it learns Thunderbolt, I want it to ride you and it can learn Break Break. Um, it has a good attack stat to use. You can use Brick Break, you can use. You can use pretty much anything. Pretty much anything. I don't really remember exactly all of the moves of Raichu. Sadly, no surf because that's event exclusive. And Teddy Power is locked. Iron Tail, you probably don't want to teach it Iron Tail simply because um, you already have I 
and we already have a powerful f uh, fighting uh, powerful fighting type moves to get rid of them. Shows why Steel is an awful type in this game. But uh, with Thunder Wave you can weaken a uh, certain Pokemon. Thunder Wave is pretty much the go-to reason to catch Pokemon with your electric types. Uh, it has 100% ac um, accuracy. So I think you can with it you can catch pretty much any Pokemon. Uh, super repel. Who's that Pokemon? It's uh, Lining. Does Lining give you speed IVs or attack IVs? I killed a few without even thinking about it. As you see, it's raining. Rain is almost everywhere because it's hoeing. <coughs> Hashtag Team Magma, I guess. avoid it here. I will just beat these trainers later on when no one is looking. And there's a mining. I think after you saved these people in the rest of the thingy Just after we stop the better thing, we'll just um, answer a recording while I beat uh, the asses of these nobodies. Could avoid a double battle, but I think I well, I don't mind. Electric types. Yeah, Raichu is really fast. 90 double base attack and special attack. Recommended use. And um, since you can get it really quickly once you catch the Pikachu. And if you want to you have a Pikachu with light bulb somehow per accident, you have a powerhouse electric. Spammer, but just, uh, keep in mind spamming electric type moves unless you are lucky getting hidden power electric with a good enough power. Yeah, and power fire uh, is um, dark sidekick or grass. You pretty much rely only on with a decent amount of attack, I would say 50. You are pretty much fucked. Yeah, uh, light bulb sadly just boost your special in this generation. So, and you have probably seen how great Raichu was in our last run, but this. You can max out your stats in this generation, so also no charm egg move. Eh. You don't start with a Pichu, so you don't have access to charm. And no dizzy punch, but why the fuck would you want dizzy punch? Yeah, competitively. Raichu is better than Pikachu. It is probably the hardest hitting um, electric type in the bottom tier. The next Pokemon you can use is um, Electrike. Uh, in this general, competitively, Electrike is good. In the battle frontier, it will get you decently far. Uh, in game you don't have access to crunch 
and I'm not counting breathing here. So you rely on bite and thunderbolt, great and thunder and I like hidden power but I guess we don't count hidden power here. There's no it can't learn overheat or flame sorry in this game. It's a new move added in generation four. But it's one of the best electric types so it's fast, it hits hard. It has I think decent attacks that for you to use. Just bite a uh, thunderbolt is fine, it will get you through the game. It has it can have static. If you play emerald, try not to catch one with a lightning bolt because if you have it on your front um, you will always get phone calls over and over again. And I just realized I uh, double kicked the uh, so bad, which wasn't a similar idea. Let me think, there are a bunch of electric types surprising in this game. Mm. Most of them are also from past generation. Oh yeah, post game you get um, Ampharos. Ampharos is about mid tier. But when it comes to com yeah, in competitive in game gets the but in game it won't be much of use because uh, level 35 you have to fully evolve it to get some use of it. Uh, the rematches are at close to uh, full power. You are better off just using the team you already have. I get the bottle for here. I don't recommend using using it. Is there another electric type in the post game? Generation two doesn't have many electric types. From my memory, we talked about Chincho already. Dark type post game, obviously, how do we already talked about? I don't think um, you can catch uh, what is it called? Mukro in the po post game. I think it's a Pokemon you can catch in the Fire Red Leaf Green. Surprising, there are there are still decent amount of electric types, but there aren't that many as I hoped. And let's go to fighting types. We talked about Magnetite, we talked about Breldum, we talked about Blaziken, and we can catch Machoke. Machoke is fine, I guess. If you can evolve it to Machamp, it's it will get you through the game. You can teach it Earthquake, um, a fighting type move. I think you can get um, a way teaching a Fire Blast. A strength to solve um, as a strength slave. Apparently, it was intended to be the signature move. And competitively, it's really good. For the Battlefront here, I think. It works fine. Um, my champ will be really useful against the little frontier. Your next option would be uh, Heracross. Uh, we were kinda in bug type territory, but we didn't talk much about them. You can catch Heracross as a safari zone and teach it some. Fighting type moves, which is step um, and normal type moves, and it gets Mega Horn eventually. 
nice it, it would be really good aid against elite front which has ice and fighting type and dark types other than that I don't know it's fine I guess it's you have to grind for it so the trainers are already at a pretty high experience level so what else is there against the battlefront here definitely a good aid against uh, it ha if you can get one with um, with guts you can let it get status and destroy your several trainers if you use the <coughs> the one that um, swan you can play the endure or substitute trick to get it at low half and spam reversal air or boosted mega horns uh, let's get this cusp on and I think I will call it bonus. What a creative name. Right? Yeah, we stopped the team. We stopped team Aqua. I think we can even defeat me. Maybe defeat me. Did I mention cast form? Cast form is success. Competitively battlefront here and in game. You need to invest in TMs to get something out of it. And I think he is now in the box. <coughs> what what else is there? What else is there? Because I lost the train of thought again. Oh yeah, we have a Pineco at the post game. Pineco comes fortress, which is good competitively, but awful against to use against the uh, battlefront here. I don't know but what you can do with pa with it in the battle tower it's it's bulky but it's slow and doesn't hit hard enough to get you consistently through seven um, victories and it's tedious and get yourself uh, something more reliable and it's post game you probably won't use it anymore for other things he has a, he shows his blood shot. And Aria does this complete trash, poison and bug type accessible in the post game. You won't use it in the battle frontier. You you won't use it against um, trainers that are left in the game, and you won't use it in competitive even in bottom tier. I think it's one of the worst. You need to breed for it a good moves. So there's that. Mm. Ah um this fab um Smeagol. Smeagol is a great Pokemon competitively. It if you want to put the work you can use it as a for shiny hunting or some bullshit. Excuse me for what happened. Oh, I don't know how this happens. I think I click some weird button combination. Now this miracle competitively is good and to get some... Um, what is it called? Some neat tricks to catch Pokemon. 
and I guess you can use it in the battle frontier. It, I think it has a niche um, for certain trapping strats, but I don't know any, so I can't recommend you one. But you probably won't use it in game because they try to ambush me. But I am not that stupid. Let's go to the um, reach the next target. Then I will backtrack and beat them off screen. <coughs> So we were in bug types and we didn't mention Pinsir yet. Pinsir has no stat moves, so it's automatically inferior to Heracross. Competitively it's less useful, but it has an ability that prevent it to lower its attack stat. So it's okay as a sweeper. In game I don't recommend, but I guess you can do something with it. It's a battle front here. If you breed one with quick attack, and I think you can get a decent reversal set. It can boost its attack, and your opponent can make it weaker. So we reach the last town. So let's end it here. I hope you enjoyed this uh, recording session, and I think it went a bit too long. And we will see each other next time. Goodbye.